Hello, English 1A scholars. So, we're jumping right into the big writing assignment. But don't be worried, I'm going to be with you every step of the way, and I'll do these mini videos for everything. The first one is the EWA Part 1, Choosing Your Topic. EWA stands for Expository Written Assignment, just an easier way to say it. So what you're going to do is you're going to think of a character and two archetypes that that character can be. Big thing is, is it has to fall into these categories. The reason for that is in the source material that I provide for you, that's what it talks about. So you want to make sure it falls into those categories. Not sure about which category your character falls into? Well, that's okay. You can go to the source material itself and it has it listed, you know, like what the hero is about what the mentor is about, what the Herald Harbinger is about. So you won't be left stranded. It's pretty easy to figure out where they fall and they're pretty short and easy to read sections. All right, once you've decided that, then it's gonna be really easy breezy to fill this in. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to write the name of the character that you chose. For number two, you're writing the character's archetype that you think it is, and it's okay if somebody else has a different opinion, this is your opinion, but you're going to use the evidence to support it. So here, if I'm saying hero, maybe I'll use this, a hero is someone who's willing to sacrifice his own needs. And that would be what I would put into number three here as my quoted evidence. Now, the second quoted evidence does not have to come from the provided source, but it would probably make it much easier if you chose that one, because then if you have to go searching for a source, you'll have to write that quote in, and then also make sure you tell where you got that source from. So make sure to put like the web address or something like that for where you got it. And then you do the same thing over for the second archetype that you chose writing it here, evidence here, evidence either from the source given or the a new source and where you got it from. And then the easiest part of all, because you did all the hard work, you put in your character's name here and then the two archetypes that you chose here. This is going to be your thesis statement. Done. Easy breezy, right? Here's a quick little example to help you see what I mean. So the 10th doctor from Doctor Who is who I chose. My other husband. Don't tell my husband. Shh. I think that he's a hero. And I looked in the document provided and I found two sentences. Um, or found at least one sentence that was a, from there. That said it was that the word hero is Greek from the root that means to protect and serve. And then I found another source from literarydevices.net slash archetype, which is a good source to use, by the way. Um, and it says that heroes predominantly exhibit goodness and struggle against evil in order to restore harmony and justice to society. And I believe that the doctor does this. So I know that he's a hero. I went ahead and looked for another one, and I think he's a hero, Harold Harbinger, too. I didn't re repeat the information because it was already on here um, of what to do, so then I just skipped number six here just for time's sake. Um, so I put in my the Tenth Doctor as my character, and I think that he's a hero and a Harold Harbinger. Done. Uh, it's up to 50 points total, so make sure that you fill in all of it. And if you have questions, I mean, ooh, 25 points, my apologies. And if you have questions about it, um, just let me know. Jump into open help. I'm here to help you. We will also be working on it in class Monday. You may see this before that, um, and you can get help with it there as well. I look forward to helping you with the next step soon. Bye.